Oh, I see a lighthouse. Oh, wow, this is like a whole city? I didn't realize this is a whole thing. Cool. Look, another thing to hide behind, so that means the Yeti's coming again. I think it's dumb. Oh my god. It's just shredding people for no reason. You're the worst kind of Yeti. The Yetis I know, they like to sleep in ice caves quietly for thousands of years, and they have the pinkest, fluffiest butt. And all it takes is one arrow to that butt to defeat them forever. That's the kind of Yeti I'm into. I'm also into the kind of Yeti that supports AGDQ with t-shirts. Alright, now I just gotta apply some of that stone-cold gangsta logic to this invisible Yeti. Yeah, rip house. Oh, how convenient. Separated again. Are you gonna really make me control both of them? I'm so bad at controlling both of them at once. Ah, uh, the classic Croc of Meyer. Bridge can't support your weight, dude. He got croco mired. Too bad there wasn't lava. Oh, love interest out of nowhere, kind of. Well, she could just be very excited by not dying also. It's quite valid. Goodness. Oh my god, that's so pretty. Holy crap, that's so beautiful. Where's the bench? Guys, we're missing the bench. Naya! <laughs> <laughs> I think we're having the conflict of brother wants to go, like, get laid or something, and the little kid is like, I miss my father and want him not to die. <laughs> I know I'm oversimplifying this a little bit, but... Okay, we're all gonna crawl through a hole for some reason. I still don't trust the situation. Oh, uh, what are we looking at right there? Why are those figures shaped like that? Um... Oh no. I've played Terraria enough to know what this means! Oh fuck. Oh. <sighs> Well, now we get to ask ourselves the age-old question, top half spider or bottom? Yeah, I didn't trust her either. They were trying to sacrifice her for a reason. I called it. What a juxtaposition, such a pretty background. And such an uh, unsettling fate. Okay, we're gonna disconnect from her butt. And... Oh, she wants the kid. Take me instead! Oh, I'm gonna hamster ball, I guess? Um, there we go. Where are we trying to go, though? <laughs> I don't really know what happens now. Also, how is he walking? There's like a big hole in the side of it, isn't there? He's just... 
seems to be okay with that now. Uh, oh, it's back. Can't really walk very well. Kind of a lot of spider webby stuff going on right now. Clearly meant to do something else here that I'm not quite sure about yet. Is there... Oh, maybe that's the way out. I think I just have to roll. No. Can I tear it open with my bare hands? Apparently not. What about this little... No, that's not anything. Looks like something's going on over there. Third time? No. Nope. Oh, I can, like, climb onto... Oh, pull her legs off. That'll screw her up. Gross. Oh. This game's all about making me feel uncomfortable. Yeah. I, I mean, I understand now. I just need to do it. Please, please let this end soon. I really hate this. Like, super not a fan of the idea of ripping bug legs off. It's just one of those things that drives me nuts and freaks me out in a way that's irrational. Just trying to get this going as fast as possible here. Oh, there's two legs left. I can't even I can't even climb up anymore. This is just stupid. No, I did like limbo. I just don't like ripping bug legs off. See the music has gotten all muted now. And remorseful. Oh my god! Seriously? I mean, that's the kind of wound that just basically makes you bleed out really painfully. Well, apparently we're near the end of the game, because I can't imagine this could sustain itself for very long unless we go on some sort of transcendental mental adventure. The transcendental mental adventure. Yeah, no, we'll just slide down a bunch of ice areas for a while. That's probably rational. Oh, okay, no, I was joking, though. I was joking when I said that. He's wounded. Have a fucking heart, nature. Oh, my God. Apparently, you're destined to die, kids. Let's just... Oh, it's the tree. That's the tree where we're supposed to do the thing. Very pretty. Set with the Aurora Borealis in the background. I mean, it's just kind of a magical weeping willow, but I guess aren't they all, right? All these magic trees. So, uh... This is where I like to predict things. My guess is the younger son is going to feel such guilt at having killed his mother that whatever the magic is that will only save one person's life, he'll spare his lo his older brother and kill himself. And then his older brother can go to be with his father, who will somehow also be saved. But there's no way they're both getting out of this. 
tell you, Eli. Thanks very much, Chikari, for the subscription. I'm sorry if I missed the notification. I'm playing it without pop-ups today. Man, that's really pretty. This background here is just great. Oh, cool. This is just like in Dark Souls in Ash Lake. <laughs> I love giant trees. I don't know why I find them so fascinating. It's just like so old that you can see things that are like thousands of years old sometimes. I saw this picture. I think it was on Reddit or something. It was like they found a redwood and they carved into it. I guess it was dead already or something. They carved into the... Uh, the wood of it, and found the original sapling underneath all the rings of it, like an actual tiny little tree that powered the origins of the massive tree, still in, like, intact within the big tree. Um, vine? Yep. Yep, that's a vine. Yeah, this game does feel like it has some Dark Soulsian inspirations. I don't know if they're necessarily real, but they uh, they're coincidental, if anything. Wow, that's really cool. I'm still holding out hope that we can somehow save the cat owl. I think it's too late, but... You know, I did bring the... Well, I tried to bring the feather anyway. Alright, so we're gonna load up. I feel like this should be enough to save everyone. I mean, I don't know what the potency is of this stuff, but... Just save everyone for once, right? Let's just, uh, let's just buck the trend. Nobody's gotta be sad here. This could be a happy ending. How the hell are we gonna get back, though? Oh, am I doing Mario 64 right now? Uh, uh, no control here, I think? Yeah, I don't think there's control here. Or is he already dead by the time I get down? Come on, it's magic, man. It's magic! I don't know how much he's supposed to drink, just keep giving him more. I can get more. Oh my god. This isn't how this is supposed to go, man. My spoilers were not the same spoilers as the ones you gave us. That's a lot of suffering. He loses his mother, and then his father is dying, which causes him and his brother to go on a quest to save the father, and then he loses his brother in the process. That's really sad. That's the fucked up part, too, is you don't actually get to have that last hug with somebody before they leave. It's always illustrated that way, but it doesn't actually work that way, unfortunately.
Are you gonna fucking make me physics drag my brother's body into the grave? That's seriously what they're doing right now. They gave me the morning walk cycle, and they're gonna make me physics drag my brother's corpse into the grave. Still holding out hope for somehow this is a metaphor, dream, something not real. the harsh reality that this isn't a dream at all. And that sets in about here. Are you going to make me actually push the dirt? Yes, you are. Of course you are. Things I've never done before in a video game. Established a meaningful relationship with a character. Gone on an adventure with them. Seen them die. Dragged them into a hole. And then pushed the dirt over them. These are things that I've never done before. Fantastic. So, like, what's the message here? Oh. Why are you alive? Are you a different one? No, it seems to be the same one. sad. So now I'm wondering if this whole game was told from the perspective of the younger brother and he actually died somewhere? Because that doesn't quite add up to me. Maybe it's all literal. I just know that at the point where we had the oxygen deprivation thing from falling under the water, that was told from the perspective of only the younger brother, which made me wonder, are we being fooled again, and is the perspective not what we expect it to be? Which would be an interesting way to kind of change the narrative, thinking you're being told a story in one way, when in reality you couldn't ever see how you're being told the story. But I think I just overanalyzed myself into a hole. So now we've got to go, I guess, hopefully save the father uh, and tell him that the brother's dead. I mean, I hope he's still got some of that regenerative juice. Oh, 
Left analog stick doesn't do anything now. And left, oh my god, the left trigger, the action button for the brother, makes him reel over. And the action button for him makes him cry. So that's what you were talking about earlier when you said that there's a reason that the controls are so important. Am I gonna find some kind of simple puzzle and realize that it's completely impossible without a second person to guide me through it? It almost- I wonder if it's just kind of too simple for it to be raining, though. Like, <laughs> that's kind of the default morning weather. I mean... In a way, this is their victory, it's just not. They went all that way. I guess the weight of it all is just bearing down on him. Alright, so he's got to face his fear because he's like right next to his home and he doesn't know how to swim. And he's got no one to climb on the back of now. This is a remarkably well-constructed game. I think the length is really good, too. I think if it was much longer, it would start to lose some of its impact. I hear something stomping far away. It sounds like a, like a heavy percussive sound. I hope it's not the invisible yeti come to exact revenge on us for not doing anything. Um, is there a door here? I thought there was a... Isn't that my door? Oh, there's... No, I guess there's more bridges to cross. Oh. That's where I'm supposed to go? Oh, shit. Wait, is he gonna give the... No. Oh my god, I just realized how screwed up would that be if, like, at the end of the whole thing, you get home, and then the brother's just like, I'm putting it on my mother's grave, and I hope she comes back. And then it doesn't bring her back, and then the father dies. That would be the saddest thing ever. I can't see. I feel like I'm not supposed to go there. Pointing me in a direction? Did I miss the biggest thing in the game? What? Alright, apparently I missed something really important, and I was just thinking really hard. What did I miss? Oh, 
Oh, it's right here. No, that's the freaking elevator again, or the platform. This is where I came from, I'm not sure what I'm missing. They freaking took down the rope? Okay. I understand now. I needed to hold left trigger to get power from my brother to be able to actually make those jumps. Sorry, I know that was probably difficult. I just was not getting it for a moment. I thought he was building one of those rock towers. Sort of like a contemplative thing. Well, maybe he was. So now if I hold down left trigger, instead of the vibration and then direction that my brother was excuse me, giving me, it's just silent. And he kind of looks down a little bit. So I guess now we're supposed to see if the father gets better or what. A freaking bridge is the stupidest idea. Why is that a thing? <laughs> There's no reason for that to exist. Just make an actual normal bridge. I understand it's just for puzzles, but I'm just saying, like, for practical reasons, it doesn't exist for any reason. Oh, there's someone standing over there. I can stop and smell the flowers. This kid's all about smelling everything, it seems.
No, they didn't necessarily dig up the brother. I think they just put another gravestone next to the mother. Well, that was really quite moving. I'm really glad I played it. I feel dumb that I've waited so long to play it. I feel like every time I finish one of these games that I had on my list for ages, I feel the same way. I just, I, I didn't want to get all emotional, but there it is. Happens seemingly every time now. Yeah, that was really well made. Technically, uh, it was well thought out. Graphically, it was beautiful. Auditorily, it was stunning. The whole thing was really, really well made. It was just the right length. It didn't really drag. The puzzles weren't frustrating. I mean, if anything, maybe if there should have been... Uh, I don't even know quite how to phrase it. I mean, I want to say more trials and tribulations in a way. To, that develop the characters more? Because I felt like that's how they're starting at the very beginning, that you were starting to see these preferences that the two people had individually, separately from each other, and then how those characters could complement each other is sort of the strength that they had, which makes it even more of a, a blow at the end when you walk away without one of them. You know, you have to learn the strengths they have before you can learn the deficiencies you end up with. I'm also really glad that they didn't write the ending the way that I guessed it could have been, that he brings the restorative potion back and then uses it on the mother, and then the father dies too and he's left by himself. I feel like the theme was going in that direction, that's saying like, hey, this is, this is becoming this character's story only, and the world is really cruel. And no matter how hard you try, you're trying to do the right thing, but in the reality of the situation is the world is bigger than you. And as hard as you try, you're not only are you failing, but you're killing everything around you too. And it felt thematically like that could have been where that ended. Because they kept putting across this message of such traumatic despair throughout the whole thing. It really seemed like there was no respite from it. And honestly, the way it ended really wasn't much respite. I mean, it was resolution in that, you know, the son and the father are both healthy again but they're both grieving and I guess maybe the message is just that that's part of life as sad as it is you have experiences and you can't ever predict what's going to happen to you or the people around you yeah I guess I did at least save the giant that's true Man, that was really sad. But really well done. I mean, I can't say it's sad for the way that a lot of the time people evoke sadness just to get a rise out of people, just to get an emotion out of someone. It was sad for a reason. It was sad thematically for the reason that was intended. And it wasn't shallow at all. It wasn't intentionally manipulating your emotions. It was telling a story, first and foremost, which I do think is is the valuable part of the whole thing. So yeah, I really thought quite highly of that. Very, very good game. Thank you to Last Grey Wolf for being the one that made me want to play it. He was bugging me for ages to play this. And I'm glad you could be here to watch it. 
Yeah, really smart that they worked in the actual integration of the controls into the story. I mean, that's, you know, that's top-tier storytelling when you come up with something like that. That's, that's what activates video games as something separate from just watching a movie, right? It's interactive in a way that is, it's immersive beyond just the elements of audio and visual. It's pulling in the player in a way that almost feels like you solved a meta puzzle about the whole thing. And the puzzle isn't just the storytelling, it's something even separate beyond that. That hooks you in, and that was clever, and that was well done. Yeah, the environmental storytelling was great too. Alright, so I feel really happy that I played that. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. 